does a really good job on this uh, plastic. All right, next operation is just to machine the profile of the tool forks. So just two different operations. Uh, well, first, we'll use a 3 16 inch three flute end mill and do most of it. And then we're going to come back with a small input end mill to get this little groove or slot right here. This is um, a 16 inch end mill. All right, so here we go. kind of loud. I'm going to turn on a vacuum so you can see what's going on. keep it blowed off. I think that cutting this plastic would heat up the tool that much, but it actually does. It gets the tool pretty hot, so unfortunately I don't want to run coolant because I don't want any of this to get in this plastic get within my system, so just running these dry, but I was a little surprised how, how warm the tool got. Actually it's pretty hot. Now it's just going to repeat this operation on the second one. And then we'll come back after I change the tool and we'll watch it cut the groove. Alright, next we've got a 16th inch end mill. And we're going to just do this little groove in an expansion slot.
so you can see how we uh, cut the tool holders, the tool forks. Pretty easy. So the reason I wanted to go with these uh, plastic, uh, in the plans it called for aluminum, and those would probably work uh, just fine, but then it called for also a little plastic piece to kind of lock it in there. But with the plastic, you can just incorporate both of those pieces in the same time, and then uh, now it's secure. And I think the plastic will be fairly durable. I was worried about the aluminum as it's going in there. When it rubs, it's going to like mar and then become uh, sticky. But I think the plastic has enough uh, lubricant, so to speak, built in that it's going to be just fine. So. You can hear it kind of snap into place. I think that's going to work just fine. All right, guys. That wraps up this video. In the next video, uh, we'll probably start doing a little assembly. Uh, I think I have enough components together, uh, machined, that we can do a little assembly and get some of this stuff uh start worrying about sorting some of this uh, other stuff out. So stay tuned for that video. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down here below. That way when I post a new video, they'll send you a link and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.